Hey everyone, this is Valentin from MusicRightness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn Yeba's Heartbreak. And it sounds just like this. Okay, so we are going to learn the first section. We are in the key of B major. So we have five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. That's a lot. Okay, so here are the chords. We start by playing this E major seven chord. We have E, B on the left hand and D sharp, G sharp, and B on the right. Okay, right after we'll play this D sharp minor chord. Playing octave D sharp on the left hand and A sharp, D sharp, and F sharp on the right. Very nice. Then we'll play this chord, the next chord, only with the right hand, playing A sharp diminished. So we have A sharp, C sharp, and E. Very good. From here, we'll play this F minor 7 chord. So we have root and fifth, so F, C on the left, and A flat, E flat on the right hand. Very good. Then we'll change the bass by removing the F on the left hand, but we keep the C. And on the right hand, we'll play this, so E flat, A flat, and E flat, which gives us an A flat over C. Very nice. The last chord of this progression will be C sharp minor, playing G sharp on the left hand, and E, G sharp, and C sharp on the right. Okay, that's all for the chord. The first section starts like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so here we start right after the third beat. So one, two, three, and playing the E major seven chord. After this, we play A sharp into the next bar, playing D sharp minor. So it goes, one, two, three, and four, and one. Once again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. On the second beat, we repeat the D sharp with the left thumb. And beat three, we play D sharp minor again. So it goes one, two, three, four. Then moving forward, we'll play the A sharp diminished alone twice. One, two, three, four. Then comes the F minor seven. One, two. On beat two, we repeat the fifth. So in this case, the C. And then we'll play A flat over C with the right hand. Okay, that's a lot of information. Let's play from the very beginning. So it goes one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very good. Once again, a bit quicker. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Very nice. Okay, so from here, we'll play a C right before the next bar, and then we'll repeat F minor seven. So we were here, one, two, 
sorry, one, two, three, four, C into F minor seven again. Once again, this little bar, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Very nice. Okay, from here we play this. One, two, three. So we just play F minor seven, C, and on the right hand we play B flat, E flat, B flat. Into this. And here we arrive on the C sharp minor. Right before we just play E, G sharp, E on the left, on the right hand, B on the left, and then C sharp minor. So those two bars sound like this. We play one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. From here, we'll play this. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so let's learn. We play the second inversion of the C-sharp minor chord, playing G-sharp on the left, G-sharp, C-sharp, and E on the right hand. So we play both hands together. One, two, then once again on beat three. Three, and four, and. So we have a melody on the right hand that goes G-sharp, F-sharp, D-sharp, into the next chord, which will be this one, playing F sharp, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Just like that. Which is in fact a D sharp minor over an F sharp bass. So once again from here, together, slowly, it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two. Beat three, we repeat it. Three, and beat four, we play four and one. We play A sharp, D sharp into this chord, which can be viewed as an A flat major over C. So we have a C bass, A flat, E flat, A flat, and C on the right hand. Okay, once again, from here. Together, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. Very nice. On beat three, we replay the A flat on the left and the E flat on the right. So it goes one, two, three. On beat four, we play this, four, and E flat, D flat, into this chord which is an E major. So we have the root and the fifth on the left, E, B, and we play G sharp on the right. Okay, once again from the A flat over C, it goes like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Very nice. Let's go forward. From here, we play this. One, two, three, four, just like that for now. So we have the E major, then we play B, E, G sharp, and C sharp together. So it goes one, two, and three, four. On B4, beat four, we play C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and E on the right hand, which is just a C sharp minor chord. Again, together, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very good. Once again, and then we move forward. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, let's learn what comes next. We play on beat two this time, one, two, we'll play an E on the left hand, 
beat three we play G sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So again, we are on the C sharp minor chord. So it goes one, two, three. On the end, we play the E again. On beat four, we play the second inversion of C sharp minor into G sharp. And then we arrive on the next bar playing this G sharp minor chord having G sharp, D sharp, G sharp on the left, B, D sharp on the right. So again, just this bar that starts on the E, on beat two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Once again together, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Very nice. Okay, so let's play from the very last bar, so that was starting on this E major together. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Very nice. So here we are on beat one, and we'll play this two, three, and four. So we have D sharp, G sharp on beat two, then D sharp, G sharp together on beat three into D sharp that we play with the pinky. And we end on the A flat over C that we've seen earlier. So the last bar sounds just like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicpractice.com. As always, thank you for watching and if you've liked the video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.